there is because there actually is a legal amount of arsenic that is allowed in our water um, <laughs> it's like extremely extremely small right so they monitor it to make sure it doesn't go over a certain level but a titration can be used to determine that okay so in our case what we're looking at is comparing an acid and a base together to determine the concentration of the one you don't know okay so for our example sake that I'll do in a second here I have a concentration of base that I pulled out of my cupboard to help me determine the concentration of this that didn't get labeled. Okay, so it's acetic acid, but it didn't get labeled in terms of what is its molarity. So by performing a titration, I can determine what the concentration is. Okay, so that's kind of the point of how titrations are used. So what we're going to look at here is what happens along the way, so really more the molecular side, and then we'll connect it to the mathematical side. But I found that the more you can understand and see what's happening, the math just makes sense. You're like, oh yeah, that's why I do this. If you don't look at the molecular view, it does seem a bit in terms of daunting of like memorizing different um, processes and things. So when we set up a titration, um, the basic way is you'll stick a pH probe, so I'll pour my acid into here in a second, okay, because that's the thing I'm analyzing, and then you stick a pH meter in there, and then we're slowly going to, I'll get this reset up here, but this is called a burette, by the way, this is what it used for titrations because it can deliver very controlled amounts at a time. Have we used one of those before? I did, like when we introduced this in unit four, I think I showed you, and I think we did a quick titration too. Yeah, we did. Did we? we? Did it, like, yeah. I think. Okay, yeah, I, I, I know I meant to do one for you, I just can't remember. It was the one that was like dripping and then like the color. Yes, yep. Oh, it was the girl boy thing. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Imagine that's gender reveals and titration. <laughs> All right, let's come back in like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw. <laughs> okay, so we're going to drop the base. I had a super cool like, sound link to that meme. I had a cool base drop from a song. We're going to drop the base. Yeah, we're going to drop the base. No, we need, to, we need to write a list of songs we have to write for this album. You could add that to the album. Just a dub set? I think it goes titration. I wrote, I wrote a poem in English, and I used the phrase too legit to quit in that poem, and I am proud of it. Wait, when did we start talking about poetry? Well, because we were talking about songs, and songs are just poetry. Man. Okay, so what's going to happen is we're going to drop the base into the acid, Right? And as we do so, the pH will gradually climb up, right? And then it reaches what is known as the equivalence point. Okay, so what we're going to do is in each of these boxes, we're going to draw a picture at the molecular level of what's happening along the way. Okay? Now, I'm going to use different colored markers very strategically to show things that are being used versus things being added. So I put out the last period some packets of colored pencils. 
So if you would like to also color code themes, yeah, you can. Um, nobody's a team. You don't have a paint board. Oh, wait, do you already have one? So. Oh, it's right here. Look. Does everyone else have one still? Yeah. Okay. For our example, we're going to do the reaction of, so this is a strong acid with a strong base titration. Okay? So we're going to do HCl plus NaOH. Okay? When they react, this is the reaction we looked at on our quiz last time. Okay? We're going to get that. So that's the reaction that's happening as the titration proceeds. Okay? But let's look at it as it happens along the way. Okay? So first step is the initial pH. Okay? This point. So each of the circles, by the way, on the graph correspond to each box. So if you want to number it, if that helps you. Okay? So this corresponds to this picture. Okay? So before I start the titration, we only have acid in our class. Right? Because I haven't started dropping the base yet. So if my acid is HCl, how does HCl exist at the molecular level? Isn't it just like connected to water? It is like Why is it Good, so it's a strong soluble acid, and so it doesn't exist as HCl, it exists as H plus and Cl minus. Now, our ratios here are going to be extremely important in understanding what's reacting and what hasn't. So I'm just going to draw three just so we can show the ratio changing. So hopefully you didn't draw your first circles too big. Yeah. It's like when you make a happy birthday sign, and the Y is like so the, so it's like tiny, and the H is like massive. Okay. Birthday. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> All right, so now second point of the graph right here, we start dropping the base in. Okay? It's so funny, man. So the base starts reacting with the acid, so our neutralization process starts, but it's not complete yet. So one of these H pluses I'm going to show is going to react with the NaOH that's being added. Are blue and green different enough colors for us yeah. to see on the board? Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Oh, now you're getting somewhere. Okay, now I'm going to write water in kind of a different way once again just to show what's happening. So this H plus is going to react with an OH. He's going to write it in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. So we can understand Agua. this. <laughs> so that's water. I told you in Spanish. It's just different, right? Because oh. it's HOH, but it's still H2O. Okay? But I'm just showing this H came from here, and the OH came from yeah. the base being added. Okay? Now, not all of it is gone, so the other ones I'm just going to keep as they were. <coughs> oh, sorry. I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> and then, don't we have to draw here? Do we have to draw like an NA or something? Good, Taylor. Yep. Yeah. So the OH came with an NA, so now we have an NA hanging out there as well. Why do you have the wrong color? Oh, no. Okay, question so far? No. So at this point in our titration, once again, we would say, right, that it's this acid, I guess we're right here, so the acid starts to get neutralized. of the equivalence point. Is the moles of the acid equal the moles of the base? So what that means is we shouldn't have any H plus floating around anymore. 
it's all gone. It's all equal and it's been turned into hose. yes, water. Okay, so we Wait, should have... Did you, what did you say? <laughs> it's a ho, ho, ho. Oh, I was so confused from <laughs> back over here. That is not what I heard. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you heard, but now I'm concerned. Wait, that rhymes. You're a genius. See, I told you I'm so good at poetry. Poetry is your love language, my friend. Okay, so we have three waters created. Okay. This is so... CL minus. What can we call, like, what could we label CL minus as in this process? Uh, lame. Dumb. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, oh it's a uh, spectator. A spectator. <laughs> true, true, but yeah, so it's just a spectator, right? <laughs> yeah. What is CL minus? Lame. <laughs> yeah, you get full points. <laughs> yeah, that seems logical to me. Okay. Now, at this point, because the moles of the acid equal the moles of the base, and this is what is floating around, when you have a strong acid, strong base titration, the pH at the equivalence point is equal to 7. Fascinating. So that little trick I played on you the first day where I said, oh, let's add four acid base and drink it. That was just water, right? It was just water. I knew but that. Oh, she's if you nice. did it in a titration, like, you I actually mean. could get it to be perfectly neutral. No, they should do that for the AP test. Yeah. <laughs> it's, so it's like, oh, that's the test. Yeah, no, it's, it's like, the yeah, test. Yeah. No, it's like, it's like it's it's the slave pours the potion on the toe, you know, it's like trying to yeah, like, it's like the hung chemistry hunger game. Wait, yeah. no, when, when we're doing review, when we do that epic, uh, Obstacle course outside, that should be part of the game. Wait, it's I forgot same. about that. We didn't write that into the smiley face jar. Wait, <laughs> your life is on the line. Yeah, and then I hope your pH meter is not operating. You can drink it. The whole thing. Okay, questions so far? Now, connection here to math, for those that have learned it, um, the equivalence point can often be deemed. Um, somewhat as an inflection point of a graph, um, where you're going from a concave up to a concave down, um, for those that have learned that before. Um, but we always see this drastic spike, because as soon as all this H plus is gone, right, the pH goes right up to 7. Now, after the equivalence points, if I just keep dropping, what's happening now? It's becoming basic. Yeah, More basic. pretty much. Have you seen that show? No. It's a good place. Oh, it's so fun. I'm actually, I walked in, like, my parents were watching it, dude, and the parts that I saw, man, they're, it's good stuff. It's, it's good stuff. Funny. It's so funny. I love the fact that they still have conversations. It's so funny. <laughs> 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 All my kids be so confused right now. <laughs> That's probably true. So after the equivalence Sorry. point, you can redraw it all if you yeah. want, but it's pretty much all of this is still there. And now you just added excess base, which is why the pH is so high. So if it like tells us to like identify the equivalence point on a graph, it's just always at seven. No. Oh. Fake news. But I'm not gonna answer that question, that's a good Wrong. question. No. You'll see in a second. Yeah. Okay. 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 No, I'm saying. I found okay is my okay. fill-in word. Yes. Okay. Like like um. Yeah, like or so like. some people have um or like. Mine is okay. I found like when I watched. Dude, that that, that okay. Phineas and Ferb guy would just be going off like every time they're like. Okay. <laughs> All right. Turn the page. Now, okay. <laughs> we're going to look at a titration again, but this time it's with a weak acid and a strong base. I'm going to give you five minutes with your table buddy to predict each of the boxes. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, I will tell you this before you get started. The equation you're going to use, so now it's a weak acid, strong base. Um, we're going to keep our weak acids generic like we often do and just pick H-A. Ha. 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 So the equation is we have weak acid H-A 
reacting with, now we're gonna react it with strong base again sodium hydroxide. Strong base again sodium Oh, now, I'm going to actually take out from the equation the spectator again. So I'm just going to react it with OH minus. So in your pictures, you don't have to draw NA this time. If you, if you want to, because it helps you, you can. But often spectators, we just kind of take away because they're not doing anything. So I have HA react with OH, which will turn into H2O and A. <laughs> okay, questions on what you're doing. So you're going to talk together as table buddies and walk through and draw in what's there. Now, once again, you'll get points for like almost everything that's in there. Even if you don't get it right, you might get points for putting this in there or not putting that in there. Okay, so do your best. I'll so give you wait, five you get minutes. points for not doing something? So you're saying is if I didn't do anything, I could still get points. Okay. Yeah, wait, this is genius. Um, yeah, but I think it's like two. <laughs> so it's not ended up being <laughs> It's still two. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> if you left them, well, no, you wouldn't get any points if you left the box blank. So what if I just like put a smiley face in it? No, that doesn't exist. <laughs> I, you give out smiley faces all the time. I think I think uh, it's like confusion. You know, like you hear something so many times that like your brain replaces that oh. word with things that you forget. Mm -hmm. That's what's happened here. Taylor's so whole translating AP smiley test. faces into chemicals. Yeah, Taylor's <laughs> whole AP <laughs> test is just a variation on the smiley face. <laughs> it's like the angry smiley face. One with, one with the nose. Yeah. Okay, right. ready? <laughs> a tongue, a tongue. Set. Gross. Go. Talk to your table, buddy. All right. Okay. Wait, so we we'll, like, start with the. Yeah. yeah. So it's just. Then? Yeah, just feel like this one. Then this one. So then this one. 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 Then this Don't be afraid to be 
wrong. Uh, never. I'm never. I'm always wrong. Hey, can you come help us with this? And also always right. Maybe. That's cheating. Well, I just have a just clarifying. Okay. I will just clarify. <laughs> okay, do the equivalent points. Um, so, we're saying the equivalent points equal right concentration of acid and base. No, it is the same. It's just a weak acid this time, not a strong acid. So that's it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to that base more like that. This is a Oh, because the pH, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I took a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if it's great with that one. Yeah, but then the pH is still there. Is the acid the same? I don't know. That's the trick. She's got to teach us not to be wrong.
then you know smiley face for that thought. Yes. yes. Wait, why do you use smiley face? He didn't draw it because in terms of proportions, it doesn't make sense to have it there. You can't really draw it, but it, I do want you to know yes. it is there. That's what I thought too. Okay. <laughs> I also thought of multiple. Still his thoughts. <laughs> okay, moving to the next box. Okay, so we start to drop in the base. Okay, let's go to Evan and Carly's team. Tell us something that's in here as I start moving on. <laughs> so, where's that coming from, Carly? Okay, actually, I'm going to back up here. I forgot. I'm going to use a third color. Okay, so I'm going to change these to these. Just, get, just to show the process here. Oh. Well, you need to change the final line to green. That's another Exactly. No, I don't want to change that one. Oh, okay. So what I want to show here, so the base starts reacting with the HAs, right? So we're going to get some, so my base is going to be orange, so we're going to have some H, <laughs> OH, like so, okay? I'm going to have the other ones still together. Oh, oh, all right, okay. uh, O'Reilly, auto parts. So here's your smiley oh. face, I guess. If you drew some water being formed, you can have a smiley face. Okay, now the reason why I changed these to green, everybody, is I just want you to see that you're now going to have new A minus that comes from when it gets reacted with water. So when the OH comes in and reacts with this, it makes this and that. So, why wouldn't it just react with the broken up to the A? Say that again. Right, there's already A to the A, but floating in there, so why doesn't it just react with the broken So, in a sense, it does as well. It just depends on how you want to look at it. So, here's like our equilibrium going on, right? What happens is if the OH reacts with this, so it could react with that as well, right? So, we could take this out, because it probably would, because it's those bonding with water happens, right? Is then it actually shifts the equilibrium so more of these would then break apart. Because we still have to have eight plus, right? Because we're still below seven. So you're saying it's an So what? So it's interconnected to like equilibrium. Yes. What a concept. Yeah, Evan. So do we so we get a smiley face for the H O H A J. So for the water and the H A J. Yes. And then, do we get one from the H plus A minus and then the other A minus or what? So you have one smiley face for water, okay. one smiley face for still having HAs. Yeah. So you still got to have some HA in there. And then a yeah. third smiley face for having more A minus than you did before. Yes! Why? Wait. Wait. No, I only have one. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I mean, like, I, I mean, the H, one of them would be after yeah. the H2O. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I carried an A, so I did Yeah. So you yes. did, yeah, so you have the one that's there from before, kind of. But you need to have more A's than, I guess here's the ratio, right? There should be more A minuses than you do have H pluses. All right, that works. It's just a friend. You did great. Okay, now, for another smiley face, don't say it out loud, okay? Seven. So this equation is what's happening here, right? We just haven't, if I were to put these as bars, right? So let's say I started with like this much of HA, okay? At this point, the amount of my OH, right, is starting to increase, okay? What type of solution have I created? A uh, buffer. No. Why? A tailor. Why is it a buffer? Because it's a 
weak acid and a strong base. Yeah, so this is called the buffer zone. Ew. It's above the dollar zone, man. Whoa. So in the middle of your titration, you actually create a buffer. Okay. So do a little flip book here with me, Kay. So look at your graph for the weak one we're on right now. Look at section two on the graph. Now flip over to the one we were on before and look at section two on this one. Who can spot the difference? It's a circle. It's a square. It's a square. square. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean, that is different. But looking at the graph, what's the difference? According to this graph, 75% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. <laughs> Oh, on the graph, sorry, not oh, the picture on the graph. But there is similarities there as well. Claire, what do you see? There's a lot more milliliters of base added in the um, weak acid reaction. Oh, interesting. That is true. I'm trying to think if that would always be true or if that's just more. Maybe there's just more acid to start with. That would kind of just depend on like the concentration. That is a difference, a good observation. Carly? Uh, for, uh, with the weak acid I graph, the um, pH is a lot more neutral, like closer to 7. Good. So we first off, big thing is, is with the strong, strong one, the pH was right at 7, right? Oh, it's not as strong as pH. This one is weak, and our equivalence point is not at 7. The other big thing I want you to look at is the shape of the buffer region. Okay, notice on this graph how it goes like this and then it curves up. Look at the strong one shape. It just goes up, right? Because it doesn't have that zone where it gets buffered. So when you have a strong, strong oh, one, the pH is gradually. Does everyone see the difference it's in that like, shape? It's like a distance. It's like a distance. We have like another like inflection. It's pretty much. Yeah. Versus when? Okay. Let's see here. I think I might need to take a picture. Okay. I want you to star something on the graph. Okay. This inflection point in the buffer zone. Okay. So if I go to my equivalence point here, everybody. Okay. Take it down. Our equivalence point is at 11 milliliters, okay? If you go halfway from the equivalence point, so I'm at 11, so I'm dropping down to 5.5, okay? And then drop a, wait, did I get right? One, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, put a star at the halfway to the equivalence point. Is that like the perfect buffer zone? It is the very middle of the buffer zone, yes, because it's the point at which HA and A minus would be perfectly equal in ratio, right? And what that actually tells you because of the henderson hasselbach equation, okay, is what's, if you take a log of one, what do you get? Log of one um, is like zero. Zero. Yeah, yeah. And so when the ratio is out. one to one, this point right here, if you track it over, equals zero. <laughs> The P equals. It's 1118. Thank you. The PKA. She's 1119. Well, yeah, I know that was like a minute earlier. You know, great. So Smart. The benefit of this, everybody, is this is also a way where you can identify the actual acid. So I knew this is, a, I know this is acetic acid, but let's say you had no idea what acid it even, even was. By identifying its PKA, PKAs are like a fingerprint for an acid. You can then look it up in, online and say, what's the. What acid has this pKa? And you can identify your actual substance. So it's kind of the second most important point on a titration graph. The equivalence point is the most important value you normally are finding, but this halfway point can be very valuable as well. Question, Evan? So the pH scale is only at 20 degrees, it's 23 degrees, right? 25 degrees. Oh, okay, 25. So if it was like, if it was like at a different like degree, would it still be an interval of like fourteen? Yes, it just shifts. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good uh, question. Okay. Okay. Now I gotta make this easy. Stop. Go. Okay. I think we finished the buffer lap because this one, or no, no, not the like buffer right lap. No, we should finish this one. We should finish this one. Because this one gives us smiley faces, which has 
Yeah, consequence on this term's yeah, grade. Whereas the buffer lab is consequence on okay. next term's grade. Carry on, we'll, yeah, we'll talk about that one day. Okay. Carry on my way, Bruce. So, uh, uh, shall we be you where you are gone? Yes, you did. Okay. <laughs> Moving <laughs> to the equivalence point. Winston Aaron. Help us out here. Tell us one thing that should be floating around in here. In terms of oh. our ratio, or the ratio I drew, all of these original HAs, HHAs, oh. right, ha, oh. have been turned into oh. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Oh. All right, my color. All right, so I'm changing all of these. So I should have three. So if you have the same number of waters as you started with of these, you can have a smiley face. Let's get it. Bro, I almost have 8%. I just have like an extra HA, you know? It's in there for you know, the one thing. You know? All right. Good so far? Yeah. What about yeah. the extra H? Wasn't that reactive? Yeah. Oh, yes, that's true, because you would have a water for that day as well. Yeah, oh. that's true. So I guess it shouldn't be equal in total number. So you shouldn't have any HAs left, and waters have turned into from these, and any H pluses you have left over. So you also shouldn't, if you have zero H pluses in this box, you can have a smiley face. All right. Okay, what else am I missing? A minus. Good. How many should I have, Gavin? Four. For my ratio, I should have. Yes. Yes. So, I should only have two. That's worthy of a smiley face. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. So all of these let go of their A minus, right? I still have the original A minus that just was there when it originally broke apart. Oh, you want A minus? Good. That is smiley face. Yes, you have a smiley face. Yes, I finished off the row. Okay, <laughs> anything else? No H minus. Why, Taylor? Okay, so, pause here for a second, Sorry. everybody. Oh, no. <laughs> Some people identified, and this is a good observation, that the pH of our equivalence point is above 7. Which the only way pH is above 7 is if you have OH floating around. So the question is, where is that OH coming from? Right. Expand. So it's dripping into the, it's one of the reactants, so it's dripping and dripping mm. into it. Not a bad thought, but no. Uh, yeah, yeah, not a bad thought, thought Max. <laughs> <laughs> Mention. <laughs> no, but and I'm sure, I'm sure you're not the only one who has that thought. So the reason why Max that isn't true in this case is because what we define as the equivalence point. No, okay. I was right, and then I changed it, and I'm wrong now. So the equivalence point by definition, everybody, is the amount of OH that I added, okay, equals the amount of H. So in terms of our bar graph over here, okay, if these are equal to each other, right, they're both gone. Because they neutralize one another. So Holy all crap. of that has reacted. So it's just H2O and A minus? Uh -huh. So where's the OH coming from? Don't know. Uh, where's the OH coming from? Oh yeah, wait, maybe it's the gone, A it makes more. Oh wait, that's make more. Confusing. Is it because uh, H2O is in equilibrium and it's going between H and OH? It's breaking. It's got to go. It's got to make more. Also, not a bad thought. <laughs> Matt, wait, 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 any other thoughts? Yeah. What about the I A think minus? I heard something over here. The A minus makes OH. Why, David? Because the A minus is just like, dude, I want to make OH right now. <laughs> Maybe because it's a minus, it, it has OH in it. So, okay, this, our picture's going to be a little messy, so hang with me here, okay? <laughs> this A minus that is created because it's a weak acid, weak acids create <laughs> weak bases. Why? 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 Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
know that makes sense. I'll show you. So what does hey, it be defined as a base? So what do bases do? They uh, oh, receive the H. Good. So what happens here, and follow along, ready? So the A minus that is floating around in here can react with some random water and receive the H. And make it OH minus. Okay, I'm gonna get a little messy here. Okay, so I was kind of right, maybe kind of if you're really kind. Of it was a good thought. No, to <laughs> but you're wrong. <laughs> but you're wrong. I think that's my favorite thing. So like, like it's a good thought. But you're wrong. You know, it just it just makes you feel. <laughs> yeah, what do you want her to say? Ah, uh, I will give you a participation smile. Yeah, I know. Hey, dude, I take a participation smile. Right? So I'm what we have here, everybody, is we have OH being created through the process of the weak base reacting with water. Ugh. And so that's why <laughs> the pH is greater than seven. So what's interesting is we actually do have HA floating around in here again. But is it our original HA? No. 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 It's new yeah. HA that's created. We also have OH floating around in here. But is it coming from what I'm dropping in? No. no. Never. It's being created. That's why I did them in two totally different colors. It's just to show like these aren't from original things. They're being made in like a side reaction. You have uh, a second like reaction a that test. happens Nobody cares about it. in the process. Yeah. Okay? Exactly. Like, we have to do like every side quest. Three quarters. <laughs> uh, three quarters. And then I have to find like 100,000. So, yeah, so you need to make sure you. <laughs> technically, what? this is reacting yeah. with this, yeah. right? So they're actually not really. On every there. console, it's everybody. And, it's so <laughs> and that's a lot. <laughs> okay, really quick play like, rock, paper, scissors Skyrim. with your table, buddy. That's two out of three. Find the winner. Go. Yes, you win. Yes, you win. I know, that's the thing. Okay, raise your hand if you're the winner. It's scary to win in this game. <laughs> okay, if you are the winner, you are now going to teach your table buddy. Yes. <laughs> Why the pH is greater than seven? Oh, Ready, set, go.
right? Plus just excess space again. Yay! Fascinating. Okay, yes. Leave your smiley face tracker if there's a chance you want to use it. Okay, it's the last thing I'll put in the computer, so if your grade goes up after I put in corrections, then I won't put them in. But if you think you might want it, leave them with me. Online students, email me your smiley faces if you want me to use them. Uh, um, uh,